Could the onyx cup, held in the Holy Sepulchre, really have been used at the Last Supper? Or would an onyx cup have been too rare and valuable for Jesus? Master stonemason Marcus Hibbard often works with onyx. Far from being a cheap stone, onyx is semi-precious, a type of agate that can be black or yellow. Hibbard is attempting to make a small onyx cup using only the ancient techniques available at the time of Jesus. Onyx is a peculiar material. It's basically quite soft to work with, but it's also very, very brittle. Fairly resilient material, but it still could be very easily damaged. Hibbard marks up a circle that he will carve into a cylinder to form the shape of the cup. A mason has to have great patience. In the ancient times, this would have to have been done by eye, the eye of the craftsman. To shape the cup, Hibbert then uses natural grit stone to grind the onyx away. That would have been placed into the cup, would have been ground backwards and forwards for some time until it's a perfect cup shape. With the amount of work that would have to have been done 2,000 years ago to produce this, the very intensity of the amount of hours that would have, weeks perhaps even, that would have gone into producing this would make it a very, very valuable object. At the time of Jesus, this would have been considered a luxury item. I mean, it must be pretty precious. A, a carpenter's boy with an agate cup? Well, yeah, possibly. Everything about a precious stone cup would be odd uh, because it's only for high-class people. Something made out of onyx would only be used by someone very wealthy. 